my ancestors were killed and slain and they are under the altar right now begging and asking the most high to you know render a recompense for what was happening to them what has happened to them and i will not allow my ancestors to just be forgotten and thrown away i will not allow you to just ignore the things that your church has done and act as if it doesn't matter see the, everything is for them is about well it's going to happen in the future um those people are going to be slain are going to be christians that are going to be here and they're going to have to go through hell with the antichrist we were the ones that already went through hell because of your church because your church is the antichrist let's take a quick look at this scripture here revelation 6 and 9. when he broke open the fifth seal i saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slaughtered because of the witness they bore to the word of god these were my people who were killed during your inquisition the only the only thing that they were guilty of was following the word of god the only thing that they were guilty of was following the covenant that they had established with the most high and you killed them for that and you buried your actions so you wonder like why i'm going after the church and we're bringing out all this information because the most high has given me the authority and given me this information to bring out because all they've done is hide everything as if the most high has never watched it and the most high has not seen any of this and the most high has not been keeping record so again who, who does this fit? When he broke open the fifth seal, I saw underneath the altar the souls of those who had been slaughtered because of the witness they bore to the word of God. They were tortured because they followed the covenant they had with the Most High. They followed the feast days. They followed the Sabbath, right? They were trying to follow, you know, the circumcision. They were trying to follow everything that they, they had made a covenant with and they were killed for that. So you think that these people were killed and you could just forget about it and move on? You think that the Most High is not going to make you pay for what you did to his people? I mean, you're delusional if you really think that. You had your opportunity for a time to live as if, you know, it didn't matter. But it's always mattered to the Father. And now, recompense is falling on you. Again, when he broke open the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slaughtered because of the word, okay, because of the witness they bore to the word of God. Who does that fit? Who has a witness? We have a testimony. And the testimony is against your actions against our people. I did a video and it's up on my uh, YouTube channel talking about how the Gentiles have uh, hijacked our feast days. And they use Paul, and you go, go check that out because I can't bring it all out here, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Um, they use Paul you know, to just hijack our feast days. They're like, oh, well, the Christians and the, and the Jews, they both practice uh, Passover. But the Christians just do it a little bit different. So the Jews, you know, yeah, they, they celebrate the Passover because that one night is totally different because um, that was a night that they were delivered from slavery because of the Pharaoh, which is exactly what it talks about in Exodus. That's exactly what happened. Well, what do these people do? Oh, well, we do, we do the Passover too, but... It's because we get, you know, we celebrate it differently. It's because we get delivered from sin and uh, the devil and the devil also because he's kind of like uh, a, a same kind of a person like as the Pharaoh. See, this is what you guys do. You use Paul to change up everything and say you didn't bring anything new. Yeah, that's totally new. That's totally made up after the fact. Everything that you come up with is all new and made up after the fact. You know, so and, and that's what you guys. Well, no, we're we're bringing the original, the true gospel. No, you're bringing something new that the Most High did not intend. And like I said in the video, you better hope Paul stands with you in front of the in front of the Most High. When it's your time to stand in front of the Most High and give an account of your life, is Paul going to be standing there right next to you and say, the "Most High's going to say, well, I said this." No, no, Most High. I know you said this, but you really meant that, right? You, you know, you. I know Most High. I know you said these words here. But you didn't know what you were talking about. I, I, I'm, this is what you really meant. This is exactly what they've used Paul for this whole time. You know, and it's not going to work anymore. Now, see, because they've destroyed us and they've hidden these books. See, anyone who's, who's down with these 66 books only, you are complicit with hiding the destruction of our ancestors. 
because you don't look at the last 2,000 years and the things that the Catholic and Christian churches have done to our people. You do not go into that. You do not go into the Inquisition. You don't go into any of that stuff in depth. Okay? Because that's the fulfillment of prophecy and you allow the churches to uh, skate on by and not talk about the things that they've talked about. So I listen to these Christians talking about, oh, we have the canon. We have the 66 books. Yeah, you have the 66 books because you've been set up to allow the Catholic Church and all these other Christian denominations to be able to hide the fact that they were the fulfillment of Revelation 6 and 9. They destroyed our people for following the Most High, and their those souls are underneath the altar crying out for recompense. recompense. And they don't want the world to realize that. They don't want them to know that that's exactly what has been going on. Now, we're going to look and take a look at, I'm going to say a second comment, or first comment, actually from my Lost Scriptures book. This would be like the full page, but I'm going to give you guys a blown up section we're going to look at right now. There's a reason why these scriptures are hidden, because they just pretty much damn these, uh, these churches and these other nations, okay? For he graciously bestowed light upon us like a father. He called us children while we were perishing. He saved us. See, we were being saved. This is what being saved is, being brought back to the knowledge and understanding. Not just saying Cesare Borgia and everything's all good. It says, what praise and what shall we give him? Or what uh, can we pay in exchange for what he, for what we have received? We were maimed in our understanding, worshiping stones and pieces of wood and gold and silver and copper, all of them made by humans. And our entire life was nothing other than death. Exactly. That's how it was before. Our entire life was nothing but death. Okay. Because we were named, we had no understanding. We were doing everything that the other nations were doing. Okay. Now it says, then when we were beset by darkening gloom, our vision blurred by such mist, all these, you know, all of these different doctrines of these other nations, all these different churches, right? We regained our sight. How do we regain our sight? Just by saying Jesus? No, we regained our sight through his will. By setting aside the cloud that enveloped us. Is that not what happened when we came into this truth? The Most High called us and we regained our sight. He gave us our sight back. For he showed mercy on us and through his compassion saved us. For he saw that a great error and destruction was in us. Okay? And that we had not the slightest hope of being saved unless it came through him. You were not going to get saved through men, through a man, through the Pope. He is not the one that's going to you know, figure out how, he's not the one who knows everything is going to tell you how you need to get saved. It has to go from the most high. So again, we had not the slightest hope of being saved unless it came through him. For he called us while we did not exist. And he wished us to come into being from non-being. This is the fulfillment of prophecy. The awakening of our people. The remembering of who we are. They're also remembering of who they are. They don't get the opportunity to just dis discard, or, you know, disregard all the things that they've done to our people and act as if it doesn't matter. You know, they, they still act as if we're three fifths of a man because we don't deserve recompense. We don't deserve remembrance of the things that they did to us. They don't look at us as human. You see what I'm saying? They don't look at us as people who are deserving justice. And that's, I don't care what you say as far as love, love, love. I'm looking at your actions. My people are under the altar crying out to the Most High every day for what was done to them. How come you have not fessed up to, the, to your part, your church's part in this? You see, all you, everyone else is in only 66 books. It's all complicit with hiding all of their dirt, hiding all of this, all of the things that have been done to our people. But that will not continue anymore. Okay? We're going to keep bringing out more information, more understanding. You, you, you use Paul to always come in and change things. I mean, something as simple as what happened for the Passover for our people, being delivered from the Pharaoh out of slavery. You even bastardized that and you even changed that to something that has nothing to do with, oh, well, that's, we got delivered from sin because of, you know, and, and because of, the, you know, from the devil. So that's what I'm saying. You guys just make up stuff all the time and act as if that is the way, that's the true intentions of the Most High. Paul will not be standing with you. Paul will not be your advocate. He will not be your go-between. You're just going to have to stand in front of the Most High and give an account for all the things 
that you and your church has done.